Thanks, Nicole. And today I'm going to talk about feathers. And first I'll talk about introduce what is feathers and we discuss why we should use feathers. And I'll show you how to use feathers to build an app. Um, first of all, what, the, what is feathers? Feather is a um, tiny real-time framework. And it's a really small wrapper over uh, Express, so it's nearly a drop-in replacement. Uh, so it can be used in any place uh, of the press in almost any existing application. So you can still use all the same middleware, but also got a real-time RESTful service right out of the box. Okay, what should we use better? Feather is a modern solid and 100% JavaScript. It's built using Promise and the ES6. And it's also universal. And so Feather can work in browser, React Native, and service side with Node.js. And by using Feather's client, um, you can easily add the authentication and share it cold, your code between your server and client, make your app um, in real time. And it's also framework friendly. And then uh, further have constructor to build service or intended apps from the very beginning. So when you eventually need to uh, split your app into microservices, um, well, you don't, uh, your app can be can scale painlessly. And um, it's instance real time REST API, and um, it uh, Feather also uh, has adapter for over uh, 15 data sources, such as MongoDB and Postgres. And it also have optional plugins that can have authentication and SMS and email messaging. Now I'll, I'll show you how to build a chat app with feathers. Okay, first of all, you need to install the feathers. So after it installed, you uh, make a folder for your new app and go to that folders. And then you should generate the app. And when you run feathers generate, and it, it will give you a menu uh, with different features and contribu contributes of the app. So we can have the project name description. So in this case, um, the type of API we choose REST and the socket IO and the database, we use Postgres. And after you generate the app, uh, we want to generate a new service. So in we for the chat app, we need a message service. So uh, run Feathers generate service and we asked what do you want to call your service so type message and it should be a post Postgres database um, we are not talk I'm not going to talk about the uh, user authentication so in this case, case use do you, does your service require use users to be authenticated you just know Okay, so after, after, you, after you generate the app and services, um, the feathers will create uh, the files for you automatically. So go to the default JSON, we can see the port 3030 there. So let's hit the uh, local host 3030 messages, and then we hit the database. But we have nothing in the database right now. So we want our app to um, update in time, so we don't, ha so we can send a message, and we don't have to check the JSON file. So going to the index HTML, um, I know it's a mess, and actually it's only a um, uh, a chat panel, and the input file, and the send button there, and I add a script of. Um, jQuery, FeatherJS, and socket all there. So uh, this is the app looks like. So uh, I'll show the function how to make the 
real time of work. So go to the app.js. Uh, first of all, we established a, a socket IO connection and then initialize our Feathers client application through the socket IO and then get the Feathers service we want to use. In this case, it's a message service. So we get a function called add message. Um, what add message do is take the message data and put the message on the chat panel over there. And then there's a, when we click the send button, the message service create a message data to the database. And at the same time, there's a message service a event listener on the create event, uh, and then call the add message function, which take the message we just created. So I'll show you how it's working. So when I type, Hello, there. Uh, when I click send, um, the uh, message service will s create the message uh, in the database, and then the event listener uh, will call the add message function to make the hello shows here. So, working. So, let's check our database. So, here's the Here's the message. So I opened two windows for the chat app, and we can see that they update at the same time because both of the uh, both of the browser had the uh, event listening. Uh, sorry, event listener <laughs> listener listening on the create event. So when every when every time like we create a um, message in our database, the Windows mm, update. So we also can like uh, send a message to the database by using curl command, and those two windows should update at the same time. So hello, fitters. So and now our chat app is working. So we so it can com communicate between the two windows. Um, so. That's the chat app. So we can see that it's really easy to build a real time app using Feathers. Yeah. And there are other features of Feathers, uh, not only service, um, we also have middleware and hooks. And not only the message server, the app, I only use the message server, but you can also use other apps you can generate any other service you want to make the apps better. For example, you can use the user uh, service. Like you can use the user service with a, with a, a sign up middleware to create a user and with a login page to like get the authentication um, by using email and a password. And also you can use the hoot the hook. So you use the hook, you can make the ma the message relate to the users. So you can, can we can tell the sender of the message. So when you send a, a message, we can add like uh, in the jQuery, we can add a name tag right before the e right before of each message. So we can tell who sent that message. Okay. For more dig in, so here's the resource. Um, uh, the Feathers JS and the GitHub Feathers, there's uh, documentation there and the sample apps, and there's also a tutorial on building a chat app step by step. That's all my work today, thank you.